When allocating transactions from a bank data download or an uploaded export file, you have the option to create and use a rule to automate the process. Reckon One will search information received for conditions you specify and offer an allocation according to the instructions you made. You can create a rule from banking, transaction rules and add. Or, when in the transactions from bank tab, and viewing your downloaded transactions, click on the green Create Rule on the Options line of your transaction. Choosing the second option will populate the information from the downloaded transaction into the form. Now work down the form to make the search criteria you will need to correctly identify the transactions and process in the proper manner. The rule name will automatically show the description field. You can leave it as is or give it a more appropriate title. Then check the status of the rule. It should already have been selected as either money in or money out. You have five categories by which you can define the rule. One is enough, but you can use as many categories as needed to uniquely identify the transaction. Each category will have several search criteria. By default, the Description Has field populates the description from the transaction and offers the search criteria all of these words. That is, every word of this string must be present, but not necessarily in this order. The criteria any of these words means any of the words may be present for the rule to be applied. This exact wording means that all the words must be present in this sequence. This includes any spaces as well. Anything means this category is not defining the rule. Other categories have similar array of search criteria and depending on your choice, you may be required to enter text in the box to the right. Some of these fields will populate with information from the transaction you launched the create rule from. So review it and change any information that identifies just this one transaction and will not identify other transactions of this type. So in this example, for reference, select anything and blank out the information field. Do likewise for type has and amount is. Remember, in rule definition, spaces count as characters, so do be careful not to include double spaces and spaces before and after the information string. Next, in the rule will, specify what is to be done with this transaction. Do the following will adjust to the selection you made at applies to at the top. So we see immediately the entry create a payment. Other choices are create a receipt, create a transfer or ignore this transaction. Subsequent options may change according to your selection. Next, select the contact that is, a supplier, employee, customer or other party. And finally, the description you want this entry to show in your book. By default, it is set to the description received from the imported or downloaded transaction. In the final section, and allocate the bank transaction to, you indicate the ledgers to which this transaction will be assigned. You can split the one bank transaction to apply to more than one ledger account. So fill out the table details. Select a project if one is relevant, an account, and a tax code. In the amount column, enter an amount if that is what you need to apply here. Otherwise, enter 100% in the percent column if the entire amount is applying to this one ledger account. If splitting the amount among more than one ledger account, then you can enter a specified amount or a percentage amount. Click on Add New Row to make the next ledger entry. Make sure your percentages add up to 100%. If you will have a mix of amounts and percentages, the amounts must be listed first, and the remaining entries need to have their percentages total 100%. That's it. Your rule is created. Check your entries and click on Save to complete the process. When you download transactions, you'll see transactions that match your rules outlined in a green box. 
Click on Accept to process it. Thanks for watching this video, and if you need further help, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.